11 a.m. Not doing so good. Actually, no, I'm doing good. Lately, I've been waking up at like 8 a.m. because my mom thinks that it's good when I wake up early. So she's been waking me up every day at 8 a.m. and telling me, get your fat. Get your ass out of bed. But today, 11, because it's Saturday. We deserve a day off. Right, ladies and gents? We have a big day. Today's a big day. We have a lot of tasks. Oh my god, I like sneezed and almost peed. This is scary, I didn't do it. Oh my god, you know that new dance move? Hold on. I kind of have it. I'm working on it. Please comment down suggestions on how I can improve. Because I want to know how to get better. Oh my god, it's taking forever. What the fu- why is it like that? Hey, turn it down, guys. Seriously. Why is it so overexposed? I literally- <sighs> So if you're wondering what we're doing today, I will tell you that right now. And I'll make it short because no one cares. For starters, we're gonna go thrifting. I know everybody's probably like, oh my god, thrifting? Wow, you're so cool and unique. Also, I'm going to Cody and Noelle's show, and I'm really excited about it because we get to see Cody, get to see Kelsey, and I love them both, so I'm really excited to see them. I watch Cody's show, so it's gonna be a good time. So stick around, so stick around if you're interested in watching me do those things. We have three thrift stores that we're going to today. The first one is right next to my house. The second one is Salvation Army. And the third one is a St. Vincent de Paul. There was one thing that I wanted to discuss with you all, and that is these bad boys. Hold on a sec. AirPods. Let's talk. If you don't know what they are, okay, I almost just hit this little kid because he's being so fucking stupid. Literally grow a brain, bitch. Just kidding. Oh my god, this kid's really being stupid. He's like riding a scooter in the middle of the street as if like he's invincible. Bitch, you're not. Like, stop being a little tool. Okay, anyway. <laughs> Dude, the little kid almost just went in front of my car again with his fucking scooter. Like, I don't know who this kid is, but he needs help. Anyways, AirPods, yes or no? The short answer is yes. The long answer is fuck yes. <laughs> They are so overpriced and they are in fact a waste of money, but they're basically headphones that you can just shove into your earlobes and f you. Oh, it's an old person. It's fine. They're basically headphones, but they're Bluetooth and they fit in your ears like Jesus Christ himself would fit right into your ear if he was a headphone. They don't fall out very easily. They do sometimes fall out, but it takes a lot for them to fall out considering that they're just floating in your ears. I'll show you how they look. They just shove into your ear like that. <laughs> They look really sick. Like when you're wearing them, you look like a fucking genius. Fuck, I just turned on the wrong street. God damn it. Anyways, amazing investment. I am so glad that I bought them. Probably one of the best purchases of my life. Sick, right? The only thing that happened to me that was a little bit disturbing, I was chilling at my desk. All of a sudden, I accidentally bump one of them out of my ear, which is a rare occurrence. Usually they just stay in your ear all the time and never even like budge. That's the word. Is it the word budge? Never even budge? Yeah, they don't budge. But sadly, it fell out and it fell into my shirt. First, I took off my hoodie to see if I could like jiggle it out somewhere. Couldn't find it. Then I took off my shirt. Mind you, I was alone, so this is not weird. Well, it's still kind of weird. And couldn't find it. Then I think that they might have fallen into my pants or like into my pocket because I was wearing sweats. So I pulled down my sweatpants. Next thing I know, I'm fucking naked and I still have not found my AirPod. I soon realized that it had been on my seat the whole time and I just had failed to check to see if it was on my seat and there it was. That's the only negative experience that I have had with an AirPod so far and honestly is that really detrimental? No. Thank you so much Apple for another great product. I stan. I fucking hate that word. But now that we've had our little AirPod rant, let's go thrift. But first. Yes! Uh, you have no clue what I'm listening to right now. <laughs> Ooh, fucking swag. God, I can't believe that this is happening right now. Okay, 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 okay. <gasps> we got it! Oh my God, that was the scariest moment of my life. My AirPod fell in between my seat and like the glove compartment or whatever. That was so 
freaking scary. I'm literally shaking. Okay, anyway, I thought it was gone forever. It wasn't though, so we're fine. I have never had a more successful thrift trip in my fucking life. I got so much good shit. I might not even go to the other two thrift stores because I just got so much shit. Okay, before I do this haul, I'm gonna make it quick and I'm gonna make it spiffy. I might even make it a try on haul if I'm feeling generous, but you'll find out later. I spent $30 on all of this shit. Just get ready, I got so much stuff. Okay, I didn't try on anything, so I don't even know some of the stuff I might not even like and I might sell it, but anyway, this big hoodie thing that has like buttons, super fucking cool and swag. Grandpa would definitely wear that, but we work with it. I got a shit ton of t-shirts, so get ready. First one, edible arrangements. How fucking sick is that? That's just funny. I just can't wait to wear that and have people be like, why? Another graphic tee that will confuse everyone. Nintendo, how fun is that? Like I was a DS whore. Next, these pants are weird and I'm gonna get judged, but I don't care. They're these like stretchy waist pants. They kind of look like nurse pants. These are literally the ugliest pieces of shit I've ever seen. I don't know what these are. What is this? What is this? Who would ever wear this? I literally look like I'm like, I don't know. I don't know what I regret this. Then I got these. Okay, these aren't even my size and I'm just gonna sell them on my Depop probably unless they somehow fit. Okay, I don't know why I was so attracted to them and they also kind of look like nurse pants, but like just bear with me here. They're kind of like cargo pants, but like not. They're like thin. Um, not only do these not fit me at all, but they're also really fucking weird. I regret this also. I got this like weird inclination to go look into the like little boys section. It kind of sounds creepy. Like the young men's section, which I normally don't do because usually like child sizes wouldn't fit me, but I guess today was an exception. I found these sick high-waisted jeans by the brand um, Premium Jeans Wear. They're so cool. They have these like really cool details right here that says like Route 66. They're so sick. Next, another t-shirt. I don't know why. I just kind of like how it's like Hawaiian style and I can just tuck it into jean shorts for the summertime This next shirt is funny. It says camping chick and I just think that something about that's really kind of funny And I also love this color like olive green and also just look how sick she is Okay, this next thing's kind of frumpy, but whatever. I think it's cool It's like hoodie material, but it has buttons like that this with like some leggings and like converse just for like a chill day <laughs> Okay, this next thing, sorry I'm talking so fast, there's just so much shit and like you don't want a detailed description. These next things are really cool and they probably won't fit me now that I'm like looking at them, like they're kind of big, but they're still cool. And it's these Levi's, they're like a really interesting color. <laughs> I could literally eat cereal out of this fucking hole. This next thing, I've never really seen anything like it, uh, so I thought they are kind of cool. They're like these cargo pants, they're really soft and comfy material. To be completely honest, I don't really like these pants, so I'm probably gonna sell them on my Depop. They're really fucking ugly, but I mean, they're kind of cool, I guess, but they're really ugly on me, so <laughs> yeah, it's the thought that counts. I don't really like camo that much anymore. I kind of had like a camo phase, now I'm not really into it. So I kind of like these cargo pants that like don't have camo on them. That's really what I'm vibing with lately. I've just been really vibing with it, so yeah. Last but not least, another stupid t-shirt. Honestly, my mom's gonna be so mad at me for buying all these t-shirts because they take up so much space and I like never wear them. It's this like vineyard shirt. I just thought that the design on it was like kind of cool. I don't know why I just liked it like it just spoke to me and I didn't fight the feeling so that was it That was my thrift haul. It was good. I guess I'll see you at the next thrift store. Peace out I don't know what's happening today, but I've like never had a better thrifting experience in my life Like I literally got so much shit. So let's just do another haul. I definitely got less stuff But like still I'm sure as heck not mad. So let's just get right into it. First thing. What is this? Oh, yeah, yeah. Navy turtleneck. It has this cool little detail on it. It's a turtleneck and I love turtlenecks. So I got this just plain turtleneck. I don't really know why I got it. I like this kind of knit, like this kind of, uh, I don't know if it's cotton or Yes. Yes. Uh, cotton sweaters because they're less itchy. So that was a cool thing that I got. I bet it was owned by, I don't know, a grandma, but I don't really care. Next I got this big kind of like oversized just shirt. And I also got this because I like the material and I just think it's like so comfortable. I don't know. I kind of like something about that stripe. It just gives me kind of 90s vibes, even though I don't know shit about the 90s. So next thing I got is dead ass the best shit I've ever thrifted in my life. It's this 
black and pink and green collared long sleeve. It's Ralph Lauren, which is just sick. And it's just like so perfect. Like it's literally the most perfect thing. It's the most perfect thing I've ever seen. It was only 10 bucks, which is a little bit expensive, but um, I don't really care. So yeah. Next, it's an Oxford College or Oxford University kind of like a collared hoodie thing. So sick. Like I don't know why I'm so obsessed with this. I just love the like collegiate thing. And it was literally $3. Like why wouldn't I? Reminds me of like Harry Potter. So that's good because I love Harry Potter. Last but not least, I got some pants. These are just like khaki style pants. I can't tell if they're navy or black. I think they're black. I don't know, just a good basic. I also like the style of like khaki pants and I haven't been able to find ones that I like really love and I feel like these are really cool so I might love them. This guy's staring at me, locking my car and calling it a day. Okay, really freaked out right now. I feel like I'm gonna die, whatever. <laughs> and then I know I said I was gonna go to another thrift store today but I am not anymore. I also have a story to tell you guys because I don't know, I like to update you on my life about something shitty that happened to me yesterday and I just thought maybe I'd tell you about it. So here's what happened. Yesterday, I decided I would Postmate a burrito to my house and I was very specific that I wanted whole wheat tortilla and two sides of salsa. Pretty self-explanatory you'd think. Apparently not. So basically, <laughs> I was very excited about it and it arrives at my house. Mind you, I had not eaten yet that day. I was starving. I was basically ravenous. Literally could have bit off someone's head if I was tempted enough I open it up and already an issue arises okay I noticed that there is no salsa they didn't give me my side of salsa but I was like hey do you know what everybody makes mistakes everybody has those days I'm not gonna worry about it today is not the day we're not gonna freak out about this today we're gonna be chill we're gonna be nice I'll just have my burrito dry and crusty it's fine so I wait a minute and kind of contemplate my life and then decide that I would file a complaint <laughs> file like a complaint on Postmates and just be like, they forgot my salsa. Like it's not a big deal, but if you could give me a refund, Use it'd be the cool. right lane. To After filing my complaint, which was not a big deal. I'm not like some sort of speak to the manager kind of bitch. I'm pretty chill in life. I bite into my burrito. And immediately when I bite into in this- In half a mile. Very soon after biting into this burrito, do I realize that this is not what I ordered. I didn't expect what was gonna happen next. My burrito had a tomato in it. Not like diced tomatoes, like that kind of salsa or whatever. I'm just talking about one big fat round ass tomato. Mind you, I don't like tomatoes. One of my least favorite foods. I hate tomatoes. I will eat tomato sauce. I will eat ketchup. I sound like such a fucking bitch right now. And I thought life couldn't get any worse. And I was right. It really couldn't get any worse. Oh wait, yes it could. So then I go to file another complaint and be like, hi, not only did you not give me salsa, but you also put a tomato in my fucking burrito. And you know what? When I'm eating a burrito, the last thing I want is any sort of fruits or vegetable, okay? I'm eating a burrito because I want a burrito. I don't want a fucking salad, bitch. I want a burrito. I went to go file another complaint and it said, you already filed one complaint about this order and you can't file another one. At this point, I lose it. I am just crying. I tell my mom about this. My mom is furious. She actually gets mad at me. And I'm like, mom, the Postmates messed up my order. Why are you angry at me? She just starts yelling at me. I'm like, mom, I didn't mess it up. I like showed her my receipt. I'm like, this is what I ordered. This is what they gave me. Why are you yelling at me? She just keeps yelling. I'm like, mom, you don't understand. This is not in my control. This is not my fault, mom. There's a lot of things that I do that are bad and you can yell at me for those, but this is the one situation in life where I actually am in the right and I am actually the victim. She doesn't stop yelling. Next thing I know, me and my mom are in a full-fledged argument over an incorrect Postmates burrito order. Is that sad? Yeah, it's really fun. Postmates, you messed up my burrito, and now my family is falling apart. So I'm at the show, I met some friends. Guys, I actually have friends, this is so crazy. Do you wanna meet them right now? You're gonna meet them. Love you. Subscribe to my YouTube channel, at UgHKarl. U-G-H-K-A-R-L. My name's Carly, and I'm really nice. Hey, you guys, it's me. Feeling good. Okay. Oh, is this not a picture? Oh, God. <laughs> I love having a mom. I love being a mom, honestly. Dude, when Kelsey is a mom, can I babysit? Yeah, you'll be like 20. Yeah, but I'll make exceptions. Wait, It'll be like $50 an hour, but like a good time. Hi, Emma. Um, I hit my and Zoe. Oh, hi, ladies. I paid them to be my friends. It costed a lot of money, so let's hope that you guys think I have friends now. Hello, what's up? This girl just aligned my chakras.